All right. There's one thing I like not doing, and that's I like not trying to not offend people. That doesn't mean I like trying to offend people, because as you know, I'm not that kind of guy on the internet. In real life, I'm pretty much an asshole. Anyway, that's why I can go ahead and like any video that points towards hereditarianism, like the stuff Fringe does, or even Arini in some cases. And I don't like to point out the fact that I'm Spanish, because really, if that's what it takes so that people don't get offended that I'm not a white guy, then it's not worth it. Now, in case you realize, I don't really have views on race and IQ because I don't do the reading. I don't read into issues like that. But I trust Fringe because a lot of stuff that he says I kind of agree with outside of it. So I can basically trust him on a lot of other issues as well. Not that I'll trust on them something that's really complicated like physics or anything where you'll have to have a very sophisticated level of knowledge. I'm not going to put trust on him for that shit. Same thing for Reading, because he did make some weird physics videos that what he said was true, but behind it in terms of mathematics and other stuff, it was ass. And in this case, for this video, I don't mean to offend voluntarists, and this should be obvious for anyone with a brain, because I'm not critiquing anything, I'm just pointing out something that's actually, that's missing in their arguments, because it's not what they're focused on. Now, what a lot of voluntarists do is they, and these are great people, they target against something that's pretty bad. I consider statism something that's not good, it's detrimental to society. But they target status, and I'm not just speak, think, speaking about people that are advocates of state, but people that are from the idea that any elite from the government knows how to run your life better than you do. Which isn't necessarily true. However, they fail to realize that not all advocates of state think like this. Some of them are essentially thieves amongst themselves. Thieves in the sense that, like, yeah, they're not actually a part of a state mafia or you know, they, they're not people that are in a government title or position but they do reap rewards and resources just like people in the government and they advocate for this they advocate this shit they and it's not just in a representative democracy cause like I said in my previous video it's not just a democracy where you can have an abuse where group A takes the resources of group B. It's relatively any system that operates on the elite working with the people. Because the elite has to appease the people. So there's some groups of people that are getting resources from the other group and they're using the state to do this, so these aren't people that basically think that they know what's that the elite knows what's best for them. They're just group A's just and on the game in some way. They're just taking a system that's been placed for thousands of years and making it work for them. Sometimes group B also feels like that's how it should work. So it's a lot more complex than just, oh, the mafia is evil or some shit like that. It goes into various details. Some good, some bad. Now, what I'm 
the best way to summarize this is not everyone that advocates for states is someone that thinks that the mafia is good. Some people are just in on the game. They're part of the game, they're a player, they're just playing for their own team. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then that's okay. I'm in a really good mood. I don't know why.